Now I got in this morning and or this afternoon and I don't know, the, the dog still looks too small to me. And I actually increased it. Let's see, where's my little measuring tab? Where did I put it? Oh, there it is. Ah! Now, let me just check something real quick. Because this will determine whether I was right or if I was wrong. the head length and I'm wrong. I've got it. Yeah, that's uh I gotta go back home and redo this. Uh I had the wrong scale. I didn't know what the scale of his head would be, and uh, let's see how many inches is that. <sighs> That's on a two and a quarter inch head. So all right, I'm just gonna have to go home and redo that. I'm oh, off. See, it's gotten darker on the side. I got less light. Anyway, uh, I'm back, and uh, this is a printout I came up with for the size dog, and that does look a lot more, you know, logical for this size of a piece. So I'm gonna redo the the dog, and uh, it's a good exercise to do that. Might have to cut another board because I got a feeling. Well, maybe this board will work out okay. Anyway, so that's the uh, size of the dog, and that's like I showed you in the video when I was at home working on the computer. That's the uh, size of the ruler that I need. So if I have to do an eight-inch blade on a knife or something like that, uh, then we got uh, it scaled. All these are, are still good because this, oh, and, and I didn't tell you what I'm doing. I found out some information on Border Collies. Uh, they actually probably weren't out in the West in the 1870s. Um, they were introduced in the 1860s in England uh, from Scotland. Uh, they were a breed that uh, was specially bred. Uh, Queen Victoria was very enthusiastic uh, from, our, from what I read. Uh, when she first saw him uh, working with uh, sheep. So uh, Border Collie would not be something that I would see with a Native American uh, in uh, 1870s, which this is a period I'm working on here is 1870s. Um, so I did some more research and I found out that the most prevalent uh, canine in the West uh, was a breed that today is called uh, America's Dingo or the uh, Carolina uh, Carolina dog and this is a picture of uh, one of those dogs right there and it was a short-haired dog and uh, they'd actually been around for thousands of years in, in, in America and around there and uh, I didn't even know that there was a breed like that uh, the movie Old Yeller, from what I understand, uh, that was a Carolina uh, dog or breed. So, and they're very uh, good with families. Uh, they have to have a lot of room to run around in, um, and they need, uh, you know, children. They're they're wonderful with children, and they're great guard dogs. And uh, so, this would be the kind of dog that. Uh, would be, uh, I mean, it wasn't the only dog that uh, was in the Old West, but uh, certainly it's, it's the one I've, I, I could, I've seen in paintings and stuff like that, so I'm going to stick with the uh, Carolina dog. I'm going to step up 
the uh, size of the wire to make the armature with and I got this wire from an artist friend who uh, was building his house and he had some of this stuff left over and so he's uh, gave me a bunch of it. It's a uh, aluminum wire and uh, I'm going to use this to make the armature with. Again, following the backbone. Right to there. The middle of the hip. I got so involved doing this armature, I didn't even see that my camera stopped recording. Well, that happens. All right, let's see. Hey, look, the dog will actually look, gain a little bit of uh, height because of the backbone and shoulder blades and all the other stuff that goes on. So, I'll start sculpting him tomorrow. So, as you can see, it is a little shorter. Well, I guess you can't see it. Anyway, he's a good... Oh, maybe inch, half inch taller than this one, which uh, is a good thing. Well, you can see he's a good half inch taller, maybe even an inch taller, which is a good thing. A little bit longer, and uh, the withers or the uh, not withers, the back legs in front of the head. So. I'm I'm happy with it, and uh, we'll just go from here. And I want to start tonight, but I gotta go. Doggone it! 